Uh, we're out here on one of my favorite lakes, uh, Lake Mille Lacs. Probably one of the best smallmouth factories right now. It's known for its walleyes, its big muskies, and, and now it's got a tremendous population of really big smallmouth and lots of them. Uh, we got a unique d deal going. We got a little guide trip going today. We're gonna throw one of my favorites. This is a custom tied hair jig. Uh, I tied these myself. It's a marabou jig. Uh, big time fly hatch right now, may fly hatch. And bass are keying in on this right here. And this right here is Malax Gold. So basically, when we're fishing, this there's two ways you can do it to fish a hair jig. We're not fishing them on the bottom, uh, we're fishing them up in the water column. We have a lot of mayflies up here, and the mayfly hatch is pretty tremendous right now. <clears throat> and when they hatch, they come from the bottom of the lake and they go up. And so those smallmouth are hugely orientated on watching the water column for something like that. And when this little jig, this little hair jig comes by, they hop right on it. And you can do it one of two ways. One, you can just cast them and reel them in. Or two, you can uh, tow it, you can troll it. And a uh, very productive way to find water. We throw them out there and we tow them around. And once you throw it and you get the troll motor going at about maybe one mile an hour, it starts to pull the slack out of the line and it lifts it up and they jump all over it. So, I custom build all my rods. This is a MHX, which is built by Mudhole. Uh, MHX blanks, it's a high modulus rod. It's um, perfect rods, it's about 6'9. It's the SJ813. For me, I just like to custom build them. That way, I got everything made for me not for uh, general consensus of people mm -hmm. um, a seven foot guy ain't gonna want to use the same thing a five and a half foot guy is gonna want to use and this is just more geared towards me uh, I'm using Shimano sustain reel I'm using about a 10 pound braided line and I like the braided line because I can cast further with it it doesn't have any twist like your monofilament or fluorocarbon will and it uh, has no stretch the further I can make it cast the better smallmouth tend to get a little boat shy and so the further I can cast this and keep it away from the boat the better I'll be and then I go to about an 8 or 10 pound fluorocarbon leader and that way fluorocarbon sinks sinks down to the bottom it's invisible and it has just a little bit of stretch so that when I do set the hook I'm not just ripping it right out of their mouth the type of areas we're fishing this is, is your general smallie habitat most of this lake is made up of mud flats and stuff like that uh, we are looking for rock piles, reefs, it's a glacier lake, the glaciers really did a number on this lake. A lot of rocks, a lot of rock pile reefs out there. And basically just going up and down, you kind of can find the school relatively quickly, moving water anywhere between that 15 and, and probably 3-4 feet depending on where they are.